brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Arrested in September 2019 and indicted on 13 counts of extortion and bribery charges for allowing drug trafficking through Zonia Village cluster boxes. But today, Jesse Blas pleads guilty to one count of extortion that's specifically in line with the November 21st, 2018 date of crime. The day the government's informant, Brenda Kinyon, approached former Zonia Mayor Blas to register for a cluster box. It was stated in court that on this day, Kinyon gave Blas $300 for the cluster box and said, quote, thank you for helping me, end quote. While the cluster boxes are free for residents, Bloss accepted the money as a token of donation for Zonia. Chief Judge Francis Tidingo Gatewood asked Bloss during his change of plea hearing if he knew Kinian would be using the cluster box to receive packages that contained drugs. He said at the time he did not know and it wasn't until later. In the plea agreement and as discussed during the hearing, Bloss accepted almost $12,000 in bribes from Kinian, which the government has filed for forfeiture. His attorney, Joseph Rosano, however, disputes the amount because he only pleaded guilty to accepting a $300 bribe. The acceptance of responsibility was to count one, which he pled guilty to, and the amounts are going to be contested in a contested forfeiture hearing. According to the plea agreement, the remaining charges will be dismissed at sentencing. Bloss faces a maximum of 20 years behind bars, a fine up to $250,000, and a maximum three-year term of supervised release. Sentencing was set for May 4th, with arguments expected to be heard on the contested forfeiture matter. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.